Well, I'm uh, back at it again, trying to bring an updated install video for an adaptive type reshade um, for The Witcher 3. Uh, some of you guys may be familiar with uh, my first adaptive reshade, Wild Hunt Adaptive. Um, and for those that are not familiar, an adaptive reshade, um, at least what I term, call it now, um, is a reshade that can detect your location in game, such as White Orchard, Skellige, Velen, uh, Toussaint, etc., and load a preset, a reshade preset, based on that location that has been adjusted for that location. Uh, so Wild Hunt Adaptive was the first, and some of you, like I said, may be familiar and know how to install it and uh, have some experience with it. But I'm going to bring um, an updated one since I have now released a new reshade um, that is also adaptive, Wild Hunt Reengaged. Um, originally, I wasn't going to make it adaptive version, but due to requests, I decided to follow through with those requests and make an updated um, adaptive version for y'all. Um, so I'm going to go through what you need and how to install it. I'll try to break it down as best as possible so you know how it works and what to do for the install so you can get it up and running in your game. There's going to be a couple things that you're going to need for this install of this reshade or even if you're going to install Wild Hunt Adaptive, whatever adaptive reshade you're going to use, there's going to be a couple things that you're going to need. The first one is actually going to be different SFX reshade presets for each location mod. Um, it's been updated um, for the most recent patch of Witcher but you are going to go ahead and have to download this to use. So um, you're going to go ahead and download manually. I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it again. And the reason it's a download manually is because there's um, a file in there that has to install through the bin folder. And for those who are not familiar with uh, Nexus Mod Manager, Nexus Mod Manager is going to install into your mod folder only. It does not install into your bin. So that's why it's a manual download. So you'll go ahead and download that. And then the other thing that you're going to need is you're going to need one of my reshades. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and just use the Wild Hunt Reengaged one. Um, but you could use Wild Hunt Adaptive and you could pick one of the files that I have on that one as well. Um, ultimately, just whatever adaptive reshade that you're going to use. So uh, you'll go over to the Files tab and you will download the adaptive version. The traditional version of this one is just a normal reshade. It does not detect your location. It has one reshade preset for your for your whole game. It's gonna to apply to every area. But in this case, since we're doing an adaptive version, you want to download the adaptive version. So you'll hit uh, download manually. And again, you cannot use Nexus Mod Manager for a reshade because uh, this goes into your X64 folder, not your mod folder. So that's why you have to download it manually for those that didn't know that either. All right, so after you downloaded them, they're going to go to whatever location that your download folder is or whatever. Um, so you're going to go to that location and you're going to have um, the files right here that you downloaded. But you got to extract them, so you're going to just right click on them and extract. Um, I've already done it, they're right here, so I'm not going to do it again. Um, but once they're extracted, you're going to have the folders that you need. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get into your Witcher 3 folder um, <clears throat> where your mod folder is. And let's go ahead and open up the different SFX uh, folder first. All right, so what you're going to want, uh, first thing, you're going to copy the bin and the mods folder. Go ahead, right click, copy. Once you copied it, you can just go ahead and close this uh, folder out. You're not going to have to go back in here again. So let's go ahead and close it out. You're going to right click in the Witcher 3 folder and go ahead and paste it in. And it's going to go ahead and install the different SF. SFX, sorry, uh, mod in there, um, which is what is used to detect your location in game. So that mod detects your location and it tells what reshade preset to, to load. So you'll have that in your uh, mod folder right here. And then also in your bin folder and then x64 folder, you're going to have the exe right here, the different SFX presets. Now the thing is, is this will have to be run every time you start your game. It needs to run to be able to detect your location and then tell you what preset to load. So that is in there as well. The next thing you're going to do is you will just go to my reshade that you downloaded, whether again that be the Wild Hunt Adaptive or Reengaged, whatever adaptive reshade. Let's go ahead and open that up. And what you're going to want here is you're going to want the location preset, the reshade folder, the D3. D11 and the reshade FX file. Go ahead and let's copy that and close that out because we don't need to get back in there and we will paste into your x64 folder. So um, right now the reshade folder is basic. There's nothing active. Um, the only thing that I have in here 
um, that I did change is in the common and it has the hotkey right here to toggle the reshade effects. Um, so if you do actually want to change your hotkey for your reshade, you can change it right here. So. And then the other thing I did actually forget to mention, I know in the reshade folder I said I haven't changed anything in here um, except for the, uh, the common uh, file. Uh, one other thing is why you do need to use this folder is in custom FX textures. I do have my uh, LUT files that I do use for each location um, and that's how I get some of the color effects for uh, my reshade. So if you do not have this, if you'd say you use like um, a reshade 1.1, their reshade folder directly, um, you will be missing um, these uh, LUT files and you will get a yellow error when you start up the game and it says compiling reshade, you will get a yellow error saying that it cannot find um, basically that LUT file and you'll have an error. Uh, the screen will probably look very dark and might not look right. Um, so you do need that in there so do not forget um, that you need to make sure you have my reshade folder from the reshade that you downloaded from my page so now the other thing that was put in here is this location preset uh, folder so what this is is it has all the locations that I have and I have created the reshade um, for each location and there's the FX files for them so what ultimately happens when you run this exe and you load up a game and you go to a location it will detect that location it then goes to that locations folder like say Skellige for example it copies these files automatically for you and then paste them into the master reshade folder and this is what is actually read just like any normal reshade is read in game and so that you have that um, running in your game and then if you switch location again um, it the different SFX um, application will read it, pick the location, copy the files and paste them automatically for you into the reshape folder and you will um, be able to switch locations and have it at that way. And one other thing I do want to add um, real quick with you guys is um, different SFX mod actually needs to read your user any and edit a file in there to tell what location to load. Um, so what you need to do is you need to bring up your documents in Witcher 3 folder and you have your user any um, settings file. Um, what you want to do is right click on it, go down to properties, and make sure that read only is not checked. You, it needs to be able to edit your file for you. Um, so just make sure uh, that that is, is uh, not set to read only because if you look in there um, you will see uh, SFX preset right here and it will tell you what location to load and it will change based on that location so it needs to be able to edit that. Okay. Um, and then lastly, as I said with this different SFX, when you start up the game, um, you're going to want to activate this EXE right here. And basically it says that it's detecting reshade because I am using reshade 1.1, so it's using reshade. It had picked up the EXE, which is the, the Witcher EXE, which launches the game. And then it will say loading preset. Now it's saying just loading default because it hasn't detected a, a location. So if you actually go into the location preset, there is a default file right here, which actually is the same as the Novigrad preset. Um, but once the game loads up a save, uh, it will say the location that it changed to. Um, so you should be able to see that. If you're not, then you're having another error. And you can just hit me up and let me know what error you're getting. Um, that it's not changing. I can try to help you out. So but that's it. Just make sure every time that you start up the game, you launch this EXE. Otherwise, it's not going to detect your location um, and change um, for you. So I hope you guys enjoy. I hope this was able to answer you guys' questions so you had to install clearly um, and get it up and running in-game. If you have any, any issues, definitely hit me up. Let me know. Thanks.